Have you ever had a friend cheat against you in a game of Magic? Well, then you might have more in common with pro Magic players than you think. Back in the late 1990s, Mike Long was one of the faces of Magic's pro scene. Who's the fast talker? Yeah. That's Mike. He starts playing as fast as he can once he sees a weakness. As such, it wasn't a surprise at all to see him at 11-0 at Nationals in 1998, playing the infamous Pro's Bloom combo deck that looked to make an absurd amount of mana by exiling cards drawn by Prosperity to Cadaverous Bloom before winning with a huge drain life. However, during round 12, it became apparent why Long was doing so well with the deck when a copy of Cadaverous Bloom, his most important combo piece, was found hiding in his lap. Shockingly, when the cheat was discovered, he wasn't disqualified. Instead, he only got a match loss, and since he was 11-0, he still went into the top eight and ended up finishing second ahead of John Finkel at the event, although allegations of cheating would follow along for the rest of his career, and along with the now infamous Bloom in the Lamp incident are the reason why he's never been enshrined in Magic's Hall of Fame.